There's a very typical question shows up on the final. It's a quadratic equation, really, it's wrapped into a sine equation. So let's solve this. But typically, we need to use a substitution, get the sine out of the way. But since this one is relatively simple, so all I did is pull the sine out, and then I have uh, sine x times something else equal to zero. Then either the first chunk equal to zero, since it's a multiplication here, or the second chunk equal to zero. Second chunk equal to zero is more interesting. That's basically requires sine x equal to radical three over two. And in order to solve for the x, we will need a unit circle to take a look at this. What I have here is I had two unit circle here. So let's look at the in interesting one first. Uh, the sine value is really a y value on the unit circle. So a quick way to remember this is think of y in stinky sine. Okay, so we're looking at the y, uh, y value of uh, radical 3 over 2. Radical 3 is 1.732 divided by 2. So it's uh, quite a bit past the half point. Okay, this is, this is how we're going to be able to tell it's a 30 degree angle over here. Now once you have this one drawn, it's pretty easy to find out. x1 is uh, 270 degrees, that's this one over here. Subtract. 30 degrees is short of 30 degrees, so we have 240. And then this big x2 over here is 270 over another 30 degrees. That gives us the 300. So here is the two values uh, from this chunk. Moving over here, sine x equal to 0, uh, we're looking for y value. Remember the stinky sine. Okay, so y value is over here. It could be either x equal to 0 or all the way over here, 180. Now, since we're given or asked to have x restricted between 0 and 360, there's no equal sign over here on 0. Our conclusion then is x equal to 180, it's one of them, x equal to 200. 40, second one, x equal to 300 is the third one. All right. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.